let us understand the components of highway that is information super highway the information super highway in short is known as highway consists of high speed network with telephone wires optical fiber cables cellular and satellite networks that is it is a high speed wired or wireless network so the information super highway consists of a network that is created using both wired networks and also wireless networks where each network consists of a number of systems which means millions of systems communication networks and different types of software form what is known as the information super highway such information super highway carries different types of data that is multimedia multimedia means different types of data like text images audios videos Uh, numerical data or uh, graphical representation of uh, data so the information super highway is supposed to carry such kind of multimedia content uh, across the globe such information super highway also known as the highway consists of uh, three major components first one it is consumer access equipment second major component is access road or local on ramps or last mile this one consists of four sub components telecom based infrastructure cable tv based infrastructure wireless based infrastructure and commercial online infrastructure and the third major component is global information distribution networks which consists of two sub components long distance networks and satellite networks now let us understand all these components in detail let us understand the first component that is consumer access equipment this one defines how the consumers access multimedia content consumers make use of different types of devices to access the multimedia content it consists of both hardware and software the hardware like mobile phones uh, laptops or desktops or set top boxes in case of television sets similarly people make use of different types of software which includes operating systems and browsers in case of a mobile phones android operating system or ios and in case of laptops or desktops there may be windows or linux operating systems similarly different types of browsers like mozilla firefox or google chrome or safari microsoft internet explorer or edge opera so in this way different types of browsers may be used by the people in order to access the multimedia content so consumers make use of different types of hardware and software to access the multimedia content now let us move on to the second major component that is access road or it is also known as local on ramps or it is also known as last mile that is it consists of a communication backbone for the transmission of data and information then the homes or offices or other such institutions are linked with the backbone connectivity in short we can say what are all the connectivity uh, opportunities or connectivities that are available at the doorstep of uh, people so that is really very important that is what is known as communication backbone so these are all the backbone technologies to which the individuals or offices or other such institutions get connected with the connectivity such broadband connectivity 
providers are classified into four types so there are four different types of broadband connectivity service providers first one it is telecom based infrastructure so these are the people like bharat sanchar nigam limited like bsnl who provide broadband connectivity second one it is cable tv based infrastructure nowadays there are different dth service providers who also providing uh, the internet connectivity broadband connectivity <coughs> next one it is wireless based infrastructure so uh, using mobile phones or uh, different types of wireless routers people can connect to the internet so broadband connectivity is provided using wireless connectivity also not only these three categories of people there are different commercial online broadband connectivity service providers available uh, to whom people get connected for the internet connectivity <coughs> then comes last component that is a global information distribution network this consists of infrastructure for providing connectivity across countries and continents so that is nothing but what are all the network technologies that are available in order to establish the connectivity across countries and continents there are two types of technologies for high speed global information distribution networks first one it is long distance networks because large volumes of data is supposed to travel across countries or continents in order to reach the customers for this powerful optical fiber cables or other such high speed latest communication technologies are used especially this one requires uh, terrestrial networks and sometimes undersea optical fiber cables are also required next one it is satellite networks satellite networks have greater advantage over terrestrial networks terrestrial networks means the networks that are laid on the surface of the earth so satellite networks are having greater advantage over terrestrial networks because they can be accessed from any point on the globe thus communication satellites play very important role in global communication infrastructure if we look at optical fiber cable optical fiber cable has a diameter of 125 micrometers that is it is slightly thicker than human hair these very thin strands of glass or plastic provide greater data transfer rates however these optical fiber cables are very costly and satellite networks because they provide wireless connectivity certainly they can be accessed from any point on the globe however if we see the optical fiber cables they are laid not only uh, on the surface of the earth nowadays people are laying undersea optical fiber cables for example here if we can see the ship of floating on top of the sea water which is laying the undersea cable let me show another picture so here you can see the sea water so this is uh, uh, top of uh, the sea water sea level on top of which sea water uh, the ship is there which is uh, having the optical fiber cable and this is uh, the sea floor this is the sea floor and the technicians are laying the optical fiber cable 
almost 6 feet below the sea floor. So here we can see uh, the optical fiber cable is laid almost 6 feet beneath the sea floor. So in this way uh, under the sea water optical fiber cables are laid and if we see across the globe there are number of such optical fiber cables running connecting all the countries and continents. So all these pictures I have taken from the internet. I simply uh, submit my sincere thanks to all these image owners. I have used these things just for education purpose. Now let us understand the summary of the components of IV. All the components of IV are depicted here. First component is consumer access equipment. That is what are all the devices that are used by the consumers to access the multimedia content. People make use of both hardware and software. Hardware includes mobile phones, computers or laptops, similarly set-top boxes in case of television sets. And when it comes to software, people make use of different types of operating systems like Android or iOS in case of mobile phones or Windows operating system, Linux operating system in case of desktops or laptops. Similarly, different types of browsers like Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome or Safari, Microsoft Edge or Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer. In this way, different types of browsers are used by the people to have the uh, access to the multimedia content. Second major component is local on ramps. This one consists of uh, four subcomponents. So these are the four uh, subcomponents uh, to which people uh, get connected for the internet broadband connectivity. So the broadband connectivity is provided by telecom operators like BSNL or DTH service providers or wireless service providers maybe using cellular technologies or Wi-Fi routers. Next one, there are different types of commercial online based infrastructure. So these are the four players who provide a last mile that is connectivity at the doorstep of consumers. And the last one, it is a global information distribution networks. This one defines how the data travels across the globe. For this, uh, two uh, subcomponents are there. First one, it is a long distance networks, especially optical fiber cables, uh, terrestrial networks are created and Nowadays, even undersea optical fiber cables are also laid across countries and continents in order to access, in order to uh, make the data travel across countries and comp, uh, continents. Next one, it is satellite networks. Satellite networks have greater advantage over and above terrestrial networks because we can get the connectivity on any, on any point on the earth. So this is the summary of the components of highway that is known as information superhighway.